See that? That's about $20,000 in gold right there. This one, probably $15,000 worth of gold. And that's just in gold. The nuggets are worth quite a bit more. If you want to see more stuff like this, click subscribe on Jerry's videos. Um, we got lots more coming. Make sure you click subscribe. Now this is going to be a, a micro hunt using this little fella. This is the XP Dios. I'm really enjoying using this at the minute. I do have an E-Track as well, but uh, I don't know. I'm just enjoying using the Dios. It's on a site where there's a lot of contamination and this little 9 inch coil really gets amongst it and picks out some good targets for me. Of course I could go with my small coil on the E-Track, but I really like using the Dios, so this is how I got on. First dig of the day, down oh, maybe four inches or so. That gave a strange signal, we've got part of a watch. Which is knackered. <laughs> this looks like it may be an interesting lump of iron. Certainly big enough. Uh, I think that's quite a modern thing. I think that pivot's on there. I reckon it's off a um, scaffolding. To keep scaffolding together. Scaffolding pole would sit in there. You'd, you'd bend that round. And this thing would probably lock it in. Or something. This looks very much like a coin ball. It was reading 80. Oh, get in there. Get in. It was reading 84. It's a 1926 sixpence. So my run of silver sixpences continues. It's actually the first coin I've dug in this session. So what a way to start. This one is reading 90 and it's from a canny old depth. And it looks like a coin ball. I hope it's another coin because I've only found one so far. Ah. Modern two pence. This one was a canny old depth, and it's a what looks like a flat copper or bronze ring. Not a ring you'd put on your finger, but a ring you'd maybe use for oh some sort of horsey attachment or something. But that's been flattened. I would imagine that would be quite old, and it was a good eight inches deep, and it gave a cracking signal. Well here we go, this is another one reading early 70s and it looks like yet another sixpence <laughs> Get in there Get in, look at that George the Sixth and that one's 1937 It was quite a tricky one to find Gave a good signal though, it was approximately four to five inches deep Well, that was another very short hunt This little fella Produces again. It absolutely nailed both those sixpences. The last one wasn't very deep, maybe it's three to four inches, but the first one was a reasonable depth, and a sixpence isn't a very big coin. I just can't understand why this year, apart from the two knackered little hammered coins I found very early on in January, all I've found, silver wise, is sixpences. I've got a stack like this of sixpences. There's been no shillings, no florins. Nothing. Apart from those two hammered, they've been all little sixpences. And they've all been from George V or George the Sixth. So, <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but I'm just happy to see them. I'm getting little short hunts in, and I'm still finding silver, so I'm absolutely loving it. Now, because that hunt was so short, and I found so few targets that were diggable, um, I might as well do a little bit of filler now. A lot of people ask me how I find out about history and whether I have a real passion for history and although I do have a passion for history I don't really know much about history and to be honest that is on purpose when I first started detecting every single thing apart from the obvious coins that I found was brand new to me I didn't know what it was 
didn't know what period it was, didn't know what it was used for, and that was exciting. So I don't want to know what everything is until I actually find it. Until I find something and need to research it and find out what it was used for, what it is, I want to maintain that sort of uh, detecting, detecting innocence or ignorance. I prefer to use the word innocence, but some people would regard it as being ignorant. <laughs> ignorant of history. I like that excitement. I like to find things and think, God, I've never seen one of them before. I don't know what it is. When I'm out detecting with children, if it's my own children or with their friends or whatever, we'll go out mob-handed with loads of detectors. It's excellent to see their faces when they've uncovered something and they don't know what it is. I like to have that sort of feeling within me as well. So I don't pour over history books. I'm not always looking stuff up on the internet. And unless I find something, I won't research it. That might sound very strange to a lot of viewers, but that's just the way I do things. So I think that's answered that question. And as you know, I've been doing a few product reviews in a few of my recent videos. I've just had these fellas sent. And these are probe covers. I haven't tested them yet. Well, in fact, I can't test the Mine Lab one because I sent my Mine Lab probe back. But I can test the Garrett one. So I'm going to give these a test. Well, I'm going to give the Garrett one a test. And hopefully in one of my future videos, very shortly, I'll be showing you how to fit it. And I'll be explaining what it's like and where you can get it from. It's an excellent idea because as everybody who uses a pointer knows, they can get very mucky and they can get water inside them which absolutely knackers them. This should prevent that from happening. So I'm looking forward to putting one of these onto my pointer. That's about it, short and sweet. My next upload will be a three month review of the XP Dios. I think it's actually a little bit longer than three months since I bought the Dios, but I haven't used it that much. Um, not as much as some people would use it in three months. Especially not as much as Dave from Relicant in Scotland would use it in three months. He would have probably had about 5,000 hours under his belt by now. I'm nowhere near that, but I have used it quite a bit and I'm very impressed. So look out for that video. Now, as I can't think of anything more to say for this video, I just wish every viewer good luck and happy hunting wherever they're detecting. As long as they're detecting there with permission. Don't go places where you're not meant to.
actually, one more thing before I go. I've been having a problem with the subscriptions that I've got to other people. I'm one of these fellas who was subscribing to absolutely everybody who subscribed to me. Uh, this is before I had to switch the subscription notifications off from YouTube because I was getting like 50, 60 emails a day and my email list was absolutely massive. I get about 100 emails a day anyway. I had to switch that off so I, I don't know who's subscribing to me now. Some of the ones I subscribe to, uh, every time I go on their channel, it says that I'm not subscribed so I keep clicking subscribed. So if you keep getting messages saying Pon Guru has subscribed to your channel, that's because I keep checking in and watching your videos and clicking subscribe. Every time I go back, it seems to unsubscribe me from you, but I don't know why. And I can't seem to click that little wheel and alter the settings on people's channels so that I can be notified of new uploads. So consequently, I'm only getting maybe five or six of the people I've subscribed to's new videos coming through by email. I think it's probably because I'm subscribed to about seven and a half to eight thousand channels. Um, so there's there must be a limit on it, I think. So if I'm not watching your videos, don't think that I don't care. It's just that A, I don't have time to watch loads of videos, <laughs> and B, the ones I was actively watching, um, I don't get the notifications for a lot of those. So I don't know what's going on there. If you really want me to watch a video, Post a link in one of the comments on my video, I'll check it out, and it'll also help to promote you as well. Yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. <sighs> and it's from a canny old depth. Uh, <laughs> from a. I'm one of these fellas that, whilst I do get a lot of... Get in, look at that. Uh, I think that's about it. And I would just like... And it looks like a coin ball. Well... Yeah, I can't remember what I was going to say. That's... That's probably as good an indication as anything that my memory's not the best. Ha <laughs> ha, get in there.